Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen some sorts of animations using HTML and CSS. In our today's video, we're gonna create Instagram logo with the help of HTML and CSS and some pseudo classes. Without wasting time, let's start it. So as we all know, this is our index.html, this is styles.css and this is the preview tab. So let us add the HTML snippet here. So we are done adding the HTML snippet. Soon after adding the HTML snippet, make sure we are going to link the CSS style sheet. If you are not going to link this style sheet, the preview will not be shown in the preview tab. Now, if we are going to see any Instagram logo, we can see that there is some gradiency of colors. There are five colors that is yellow, orange, red, pink and blue. So there is some gradiency. You can see there are multiple gradiencies, different sorts of gradiencies for an Instagram logo. So now let us create an Instagram logo with the help of HTML and CSS here. So first, as we see here, there are two divisions. One is the inside division and then there is an outside division and then there is a circle in the innermost. So let us create it. Now let us create two divisions here. One I'll create one out division and inside that I'll be creating one more division that is the inside division that we have. Now let us style it for the universal styling that is a margin should be zero and a padding as well zero. And one more new property we are, I'm going to use here that is box sizing. I'm just going to give it as border box. After this, we are going to style the body. So inside the body, I'll be giving display in the flex. To make the content in the center, we usually used position absolute, left 50%, top 50%, transform translate minus 50 and minus 50% percent, percent, right? So here we are going to use another way to make the content in the center. That is by using display flex, align item in the center, justify content in the center and height is equals to 100 view height. So if you are going to do this, the, the item that is there, it will be aligned in the center. And if there is any overflow, we are just going to hide it. Now next we are going to style with the out. Width of this outer edge, we are going to add 45 pixels. Height of this outer edge also will be 45 pixels. Oh, let's make it 150 pixels. 45 will be too small. We'll make it 150 pixels. Then let us add the background. This is the main component where we are going to show how the background should be. So when we are going to use this background, there are certain types of gradients that you can see. There are linear gradient, there is radial gradient, there is O-linear gradient, WebKit gradient. Uh, most linear gradient, most radial gradient. So here we are going to use a radial gradient so that whatever gradients or whatever the combination of colors that I am going to add should be visible in this gradient format. And they should overlap each other. They should be merging with each other. So that is the meaning of gradient. So now at the foot and these gradients should be in the form of circle and add 30% and 107% comma first of all what all colors we have so first we have this yellow color so let us add that yellow first i'll be using hash fbea30 so this is the yellow color that i'll be using and that should be at zero percentage comma next i'll be using next let us see there is an orange color after this yellow so orange color at what percentage orange orange color at five percentage you can also change the percentages and you can see how the gradiency will be appear then there is a red color we're going to add the red color five zero two b so now you can see that there is a, some gradiency first there is yellow then there is orange and then there is red so you can also change it according to your wish the colors you can change them according to your wish now you can see certain gradients here and next color that is there that will be pink so i'm just going to add a pink hash f0 1a 7e so there is a pink color as well that you have you can see here and that will be at about 60 percentage now you can see that there is yellow orange and then there is 60 percent now this yellow i'll just change a bit in color okay 
and then at the last there will be blue color so the blue hash 5014d2 so now you can see that there is certain linear gradiency that we have added if you want some other linear gradiency as well you can also add them based on your color choices and based on the percentage at what percentage you want them to be visible so these are some gradients five colors that i have added for this instagram logo and then next you have to curve these borders so to curve those borders you have border radius that will be 35 pixels now it is curved properly and place the items in the center save this after doing this you have in dot in so you, you have to style the inner portion now for this inner portion i'll be giving the width of about 120 pixels and the height of about 120 pixels and border border will be of 10 pixels solid white and this whatever it is there it should display itself in the grid format okay and here we have not added the display grid so display grid now you can see that has been in the center and also i'm going to add one more thing that is the place items in the center now everything is perfectly aligned now we need to curve these edges to align with the edges of the outer edge so to curve those things you have border radius i'll be using 32 pixels Save. now you can see that the borders are also aligned with the outer borders now we have styled this outer and the inner section now we have to style the round here and one small dot here at the right corner so how we are going to do it to do that we are going to use the pseudo classes first for this innermost we are going to use before and after pseudo class first we are going to style with the before pseudo class content there will be no content here width of that will be 45 pixels height of it also will be 45 pixels border 10 pixels solid white now you can see we have got it now this thing should be converted into a circle in order to convert it in the circle you have border radius you have to give it directly as 50 percent so that you can get a round shape here and this also you have to use display in the grid section so that everything is going to be in place and place the items in the center and the position for this will be relative saved so in the same way we are going to also create the dot that should be there in the right hand side so input that is the innermost column and here i'm going to use the after pseudo class content will be empty as usual the width of this will be of about 10 pixels height will be of about 10 pixels border will be 2 pixels solid white in color now you can see that there is some border but we have misplaced something so this will not be relative this will be absolute absolute then it will be in the center and here the background will be transparent now next here then next we are going to use the border radius that should be 50 percent as well and here the background will be white now we have the dot created but that dot should be at the rightmost column to add it to the rightmost column what we have to do we have to use the position absolute so that for wherever we are going to place it it should be at that itself from the top it should be at uh, zero pixels and from the right it should be at 10 pixels where did it go just remove these things from here okay now we gave the position top is equal to zero but there is a no dot here where is the dot so what we have to do is first in order to make it appear we are going to use the position relative here in our in in a division so that this dot should be there inside the in division and not in the 
top division. If you're going to just remove this dot and if you give this here as black, you can see that the dot is somewhere here. But we don't want the dot to be here. We want the dot to be related inside this in division. So what we are going to do here, we are going to position it inside the inner division. Now it is in the center of our in division. And now we are going to style it from the top, from the right side. It should be at 10 pixels. It is at 10 pixels from the right side now. The top of it 8 pixels. Now you can see your Instagram logo is ready. So this is how you can create an Instagram logo using only HTML and CSS. Let us see is let us see this in the live server once. So this is how you can create an Instagram logo with the help of HTML and CSS only. That's all for today's video. For the, for more such videos, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Meet you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.